What's up, what's up everybody? Jeffrey here with you today. I hope you are all well. So, you are planning your trip to Thailand and you wanna know what's going on over here, where to go, what to avoid, basically what the nightlife scene is looking like at this point. So let's cover it. Let's go over Bangkok, Pattaya, and Chiang Mai. For this video, I'm gonna leave Phuket out of this video because you know what last time i was there it was just overpriced it was pushy it wasn't really my thing that being said i have had plenty of great experiences in phuket but for this video we're gonna just go over bangkok Pattaya, and chiang mai so without any further ado let's jump right on into it Guys, you know your go-to is gonna be Soy 4 Nana Plaza. That's always gonna be your jump off point whenever you're in Bangkok. Now let's get specific on that. My favorite places over there are the Hillary bars. And of any of the Hillary bars, you can't go wrong. They've got live music. Most of them have dance floors. You can kind of get down in there, get loose and get your boogie on. Also, they got pretty good food in there. They do good pizza at the Hillary bars. Um, a lot of people have been talking about Therma Cafe in Bangkok. For me, I'd skip Therma Cafe because right when you walk in, somebody hits you up and tells you to buy a drink, they get right in your face. And then it's like, there's all the girls in there, but the way it's spread out, it's a, it's a big horseshoe. And it just feels like you're being watched. It just feels like everybody's watching your every move. For me, I like to go into a place that's a little bit more quiet and chill out. That being said, my little secret place to be quiet and chill out is Soy 7-1. You pop down Soy 7-1, it's a bunch of these little discreet bars. And um, you know, they like, they got the sliding, the sliding glass doors in the front. You go in, you're inside, nobody even gonna know that you in there. So you can operate, um, you know, without being put on front street. We like to kind of do our thing on the low. Not everybody wants to be sitting on the bar and be seen when you're out. Uh, the, other er the other spots in that area are Soy 11 slash Soy 8. So I put the slash in there because um, Soy 8 and Soy 11 connect. Sukhumvet is just in the middle. All you have to do is cross the street on Sukhumvet. Now on Soy 11, you've got Club Sugar and a bunch of other open air bars that are very cool to check out. Bunch of food over there. There's a wine connection over there. You got Thai food over there. If you're, um, if you're gonna stay in Bangkok, I recommend staying near this soy 11 or soy 8. there's a bunch of hotels in this area that are pretty reasonably priced for this area because if you stay right here you're dead in the middle of all the action it's a very good place to stay and um soy 8 has a bunch of good restaurants not as much on the bar side but really really good restaurants i mean there are they are all of the restaurants you can get drinks but it's more um more food based but Good for grabbing some dinner. Guys, if you wanna hit clubs in Bangkok, I'm gonna recommend Club Sing Sing, good hip hop club, and also Urban Music Bar. Both of those places you'll be able to meet regular Thai girls and uh, hopefully have a good connection. Soy Cowboy, I'd probably skip it. Been there, done that, it's crowded, and uh, just kinda beat to the ground in my opinion. Let's move on to Pattaya. Pattaya, you got Soy 6. Soy 6 is always gonna be your go-to for fun, 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 anything goes type of vibe. And if you're coming to Thailand, especially if it's your first time, it's a must visit. It's one of those places that um, is like no other. When you experience that, you're gonna be like, whoa, this is, I see why people get excited about Thailand now. They get that, I see why guys come over here and never go back type of thing. Now for Walking Street, Walking Street to me is a little bit crowded, but if I'm gonna go to Walking Street, I'm gonna hit up Ibar. Ibar is my favorite place because Ibar is good for polling because you can actually talk to a girl, you can um, have a conversation where a lot of the other clubs, it's so loud and so crowded, it's just very difficult to do that. So gonna, gonna highly recommend Ibar. Might pop into 808 for a little bit because 808's got the good hip hop beats, but other than that, I'm sticking to Ibar. Let's move right down to Chiang Mai, wrap this thing up. Chiang Mai is a simple one. Chiang Mai is a very 
Um, simple program, everyone starts at Zoe in Yellow. Then everyone heads on over to Spicy. Spicy is your nightclub. Zoe is kind of the meeting point for everybody. Everybody pre-games over there, gets going, and then the party really cracks at Spicy. Now guys, I wanna tell you guys a little something about Chiang Mai. Since I've been up here, I thought that it was gonna be a little bit more laid back and reserved versus Bangkok and Pattaya, but I'm finding guys, Chiang Mai is pretty freaking wild. And um, the same rules apply as Bangkok and Pattaya, if you get my drift. So Thailand is pretty much the same blanket thing going down everywhere you go. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any questions, hit me up at jeffreypeterson.com and uh, hope you guys enjoy your trip and have a good holiday when you are over here in Thailand. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. YouTube wants you to ring that bell for whatever reason. And if you can, sh share the video with a buddy and let me know how your trip goes down when you're over here in Thailand, guys. All right, guys, thank y'all for watching. Peace and love.